Okay, let's go ahead and start lesson one from unit one. What are scaled copies? The lesson starts off with um, a portrait. You know, this, this is just the warm-up activity. But you have your, you have your basic um, original portrait. Okay, this is what it looks like. And um, the follow-up is just basically um, A through E are some scaled copies right there. We've got some scaled copies. And which ones do you think are scaled copies? All right, so some of them are scaled, some of them are not. And um, number three says, what do you think scaled copy means? And we'll just I'll address that by uncovering those boxes there. And so, um, you know, really quickly, I mean, some of these are pretty easy to figure out. Like you can tell, like, A. A is not a scaled copy uh, because it looks like it's it's stretched vertically, you know, whereas, uh, you know, it was, it's okay to, to increase so something vertically, but when you increase something vertically, it's going to have to change horizontally, you know, at an equal ratio or proportion. Um, same thing with portrait B. Um, that one looks like it was like the, it was done opposite. It was stretched horizontally, but as it stretched horizontally, um, it, it didn't match up vertically so it didn't kind of get any taller um, so the the ones that are actually um, the ones that are actually scale drawings or scale pictures of the original are C and D and you can kind of tell there that C and D because uh, and I'm not really getting into any technical definitions of what of what a scale is but you can kind of tell like the the constraints are are basically the same you can tell the the kid's face is still kind of that oval shape um he doesn't you know his face doesn't look as narrow as it does on a um his face definitely doesn't look as wide as it does on b um it's it's all kind of it's all there the way it was originally intended to look so that's why uh we can pick C and D, all right? And then E, you can, you can count out E because um, that one, that's like an oblique shape, but you can see right here, the, the angles changed, right? We, don't, we no longer have right angles. You know, in, in the picture, every angle is a right angle because it's rectangular, all right? And then all of a sudden, in the scale copy of it, it's not the uh, right angles, you got these you know, acute and obtuse angles in there, which um, throw it off. So maybe if you're looking at it at an angle or something, uh, and it needs to be displayed on a wall because it's being shown on a projector that's at a weird angle to the projector or to the screen, then it may have to look like that so that it looks normal to the viewer, if that makes any sense. I'm not sure um, if that makes any sense, but it, I'm just that's what I'm thinking of. All right, what are uh, some things that you think are scaled, what, what does scale copy mean? Well, scale copy um, uh, is like right here. You know, the, the picture or drawing looks similar, you know, and uh, I'm not really getting too technical here, but yeah, it just looks the same. You can kind of just tell by looking at it. Um, the next thing is that the angles, that's one thing I just kind of addressed right there, which is the angles have not changed. We've, we've got all the same angles. And if something is a scale drawing uh, or a scale picture of something or whatever it is, um, the angles should never change. The angles are not going to get bigger. They're not going to get smaller. The angles will remain the same. The dimensions of it, however, can change. You know, you can get taller, you can get wider, you know. You can, you can have all types of enlargements and reductions but uh, angles are going to be the one thing that are going to remain the same, no matter what. And then right here, the proportions are equal. So now uh, uh, on C and D, and I'm just eyeballing it here. I, I'm not using any type of measuring here or whatever, but I would definitely say like, I would say the the width of the picture is about, and, and again, I'm just going off the top of my head, is about half the height of that picture. 
you know, so it's about half. And that that's, I mean, I'd have to really measure it to figure it out. And right now we're not totally concerned with being exactly, you know, perfect. We're just kind of using our general math instincts here for telling whether something is uh, a scale drawing or not. Now for part two activity, you've got scaling F, student uh, task statement. You've got an original drawing for F, and then drawing one through drawing seven are um, our scales of it, but uh, we got to figure out, you know, which one is actually a scale. And I think in order to do that, it helps to look at the original. Look at the original, and there's some things that you might want to uh, make note of. You know, for instance, like the the measurements, because now this this letter F right here is drawn on a grid and, and it's intentionally drawn on that grid so that you can kind of see the measurement, see how long something is or how tall it is. So like you can see this is two, that part of the F is, is two units. And this part of the F, this middle part right there, that's one. So right there, that's, that's one connection you can make. You can kind of say right here, well, the top part of the F and the bottom part of the F, that's like a one to two uh, ratio or a two to one ratio, depending on which way you're kind of describing it. But that's a, that's a one to two ratio where the top is always going to be double whatever the middle is, or the middle is always going to be half of whatever the top is. All right. Another thing that you might observe here is that, you know, the overall height of, of the, the letter F is four units, you know, from top to bottom, it's four units. And you'll notice that is double the top of the F is double the top of the F. So those are things you're going to look for. And another thing that might not be so like totally obvious is, you know, if you look at the, I don't want to mess this up, but if you look at the the spacing here, you know, the, um, the amount of room right here and the amount of room like right here, you'll notice that, that the middle part of that F is exactly in the middle of that. You can see like there's an equal amount of space. There's an equal amount of space here as there is right here. So that's this this part of the F should be exactly situated right in the middle. All right, so th those are some, th some things you're gonna want to kind of just look for when you're looking for whether it's scale or not. So when we look at um, drawing one, let's see if everything, I if every box gets checked here. Um, all right, the top, uh, that top is three. All right, and this middle section that looks like one and a half all right so that follows that rule so the the top is double the middle the middle is half also of the top uh, what else um, the top part of the F is is three and now just like on the original the top is half the height of it so if the the top of this one is three, then the height of it should be six, and it is six, right? It's one, two, three, four, five, six squares tall. You know, those are centimeters, so six centimeters tall, you can say. And uh, lastly, that middle short part of F right there, that is exactly right in the middle. There's three boxes above it, you know, there's three boxes above it, and then there's three boxes below it. So it's right there in the middle. So you can say this one, without a doubt, is scale. Okay? All right, moving on to drawing D. Moving on to drawing D. All right, let's see here. We've got this top part. This top part right here, that's four units. That's four units. And this middle part, this middle part is two units. All right, so that's that's good. So so far that um, looks like it's proportional. But let's check out the things too. Now, since the top is four, since the top is four, the the side should be eight, right? So it should be eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's good. And then this middle part right here is exactly in the middle, and 
all is well. So that's a scale as well. All right, so so far drawing one and drawing two were drawn to scale. Uh, drawing three, drawing three is the first one that's not to scale. And I, I think we can just look at the, the, the arms of that F, I guess if you want to call those arms, whatever, this right here, that part right there is four units. It's four units. And this part right here is three units. And some people might remark, well, doesn't that count because the top part of this F was two and this one was one and that it's one more. So shouldn't that be true for the scale? Well, it's, it's not about, you know, when you get into scale, it's not about adding or subtracting. It's think about factors, think about multiplication or division. And um, it, yeah, that's four is not double what three is. I know it's one more than three, but this is not to scale. That's not to scale. Uh, drawing four right there, that's definitely not to scale. The angles are not the same. You can just tell right there that's not a right angle. All right? Nor is right there. That's not a right angle. Okay. Uh, drawing five, you know, just looking at it, it looks like it's scale, but uh, if we look at those, these parts right here, this top part and the middle part right there, those do not have a two to one relationship. The top right there is three and that's two. So that is not scale. And then drawing six, the uh, smallest drawing of them all, that one is not to scale because these two parts of the F um, are equal. And you, it's not a one to one ratio, it's a, it's a two to one ratio or a one to two, depending on, like I said, depending on how you're looking at it. But yeah, that's not the scale. That is not the scale. And then the last one, the, the largest F you can, you have on there for drawing seven, uh, that is to scale. Okay, and then I, I pretty much started, I've always started at the top, but the, like right here, that's three. That's three units. So if this is to scale, that means the top part of that F should be six, it should be double. And it is, right? That's six units from left to right, right there. And since that is six, the height of that entire F should be 12. Now you don't have to write these numbers here, but I'm just gonna do it just to prove it. See how there's six there? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that one is the scale. Now for part uh, for part three here, this is kind of up to you to draw and like make your own drawing that um, is a scale copy of letter F. And all you have to do is just kind of keep in mind that. You know, whatever this, I'm just drawing a random length right here. And that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten tall. All right. So if that's ten, then I, I need to make the very top of it five. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go right there. So that's got to be five. And then the other part of the F needs to be right in the middle. And I want that to be half of the top. So half of five is two and a half. So there's two, and then there's a half right there about. So that's two and a half, that's, that's five, that's 10. Uh, these sections right here are equal. 